Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your parts. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Hey Royals and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be installing this gorgeous 24 inch Italian curly unit that I got from Hairspells. So the wig came in this cute pouch right here you guys. So a bit about this unit, this is their 24 inch Italian curly unit in the density of 130%. This is also a 13 by 6 lace frontal parting space unit. So it does have a good sufficient amount of parting space. So you can do a middle part, you can do a side part however you want to rock this unit so i collabed with hair spells before and i loved the first deep curly unit that they sent to me so i decided to review another one and i got so many compliments on that wig and this wig is just giving the same vibe that i got from the deep curly wig i'll leave all the information for this wig in my description bar down below if you are interested in purchasing this unit along with my discount code which is ruana10 so you can save 10 percent off of your purchase don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet give this video a big thumbs up and to comment down in the comment section bar down below so let's jump right into the installation process of this italian curly unit from hair spell so the unit that i'm going to be installing and reviewing today is in collaboration with hair spells hair company they were gracious enough to send me over their 24 inch italian curly unit so this is their 13 by 6 130 percent density unit so straight out of the box the wig did come pre-plucked but i went in a bit to pluck the hair a little bit more so a bit about the inside cap construction of this unit it has has three combs behind of the lace one to the back and it also came with adjustable straps as well so I did went ahead to dye the hair jet black so let's jump right into the installation process of this 24 inch Italian curly unit from hair spells so I'm back again with another installation video so the company that I'm going to be collaborating with today is from hair spells hair company i worked with them before you guys and i loved their curly wig like i loved it like it's up to this day it's still one of my favorite wigs i'll link it in the eye so you can go and check that video out if you are interested that was their deep curly wig so today i'm going to be installing their italian curly wig it's a similar hair texture and I am in love and this is in 24 inches. I did went ahead to bleach the knots on this wig and I did dye this wig jet black because I love jet black curly wigs like it does something to me instead of the natural brown color. It's a 13 by 6 parting. You know, most companies you only get 13 by 4 curly wigs but a 13 by 6 this, this is gonna be bomb I, it's bomb like you see that this is the texture of the curls on okay. this unit so i already went ahead to do my ball cap method so before the installation process i'm just gonna cut down the lace a bit and i did went ahead to cut the lace into four smaller sections to the front portion so the glue that I'm going to be using today is my Kiss Almighty glue and I just did about two layers of this glue today. So I'm just blending out the glue with the end of my rat tail comb and then I'm just going to blow dry that and repeat the same process. While the first layer of glue is drying you guys, I'm going to be tinting the lace. I'm, I'm using glue. my black opal foundation in the shade Carob. This is my oldie but goodie to tint the lace and this is the foundation that I'm going to be using. So 
So once I'm done applying the second layer of glue, I'm just going to blow dry that to make sure it's tacky. And when the glue is tacky, I'm just going to push the lace into the glue by using my rat tail comb and my blow dryer to make sure everything is secured. So I'm just going to be using my elastic band just to melt the lace a bit. So now I'm going in with my extra spray and I'm just going to spray. So by applying my Escher spray, it gives me an extra hold. So I'm just going to comb that out so that it wouldn't be too cruffy and go over that with my blow dryer and melt the lace one more time. And I'm going to let that sit. And once the lace has been melted, I'm just going in with my cuticle scissors to cut off the extra lace. Lace is bomb. Like, where? Where's the lace? Like... So once the lace has been cut off, I'm going in with my black opal foundation in ebony rose. So while the lace is melting, I'm going to work on my parting space. This is their 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. So it does have a good sufficient amount of parting space. So now I'm going in with my wig dealer wax stick just to lay the top portion of the wig. And then I'm going over that with my thermal hot comb just to make sure the top portion of the wig is as sleek as possible. So once the lace on this unit has been melted, as you guys can see, it's giving all the gives. So I'm just going to continue to finesse the parting space on this unit. And then I'm going to be parting out the section of hair to the front where I'm going to be using to create my baby hair. So to lay my edges today, I'm going in with my Holy Grail My Gorilla's Knot Gel in Punk. What I normally do, I put the gel to the root of the wig so that it could stay the way I want it. And then I go over that with my ORS Olive Oil Foaming Mousse just to style the baby hairs in the direction I want them to go. So I'm just going to continue to finesse my baby hairs with the mousse and to set everything I'm going in with my Escher Girl Lace Spray just to make sure everything stays in place. <music> So once I'm done finessing my edges, I go over that with my Escher Lay Spray just to melt everything in place along with my blow dryer. So now I'm going to be going in with my olive oil foaming mousse just to lay the top portion of this wig a bit. So I'm just going to work on finessing the top portion of this unit and I am going to be taking the foaming mousse just to define the curls on this wig as well. Something new. 
so I'm just going back in with more of my ORS olive oil foaming mousse just to define the curls on this wig a bit and I'm making sure that the mousse is evenly distributed throughout this wig and then I'm going over that with my ISO plus hairspray just to add a bit of shine and luster and then I go in with my bo5 conditioner and i normally focus that on the ends of my hair so now i'm going in with my diffuser just to diffuse the curls on this unit a bit more and back over that with my iso plus hairspray so to finesse the parting space on this unit i'm going in with my black radiance true contour powder and i'm just putting that into the parting space so that it could define it a little bit more and to lay the top portion of the wig to make sure that it stays in place i'm going in with my olive oil lace spray and over that with my blow dryer and to complete the look all together i'm just going to add a bit more shine so i'm going in with my iso plus hairspray so that concludes the installation process of this 13 by 6 italian curly wig from hairspell so you guys this is the end result of the installation process of this 24 inch curly unit from hair spell and this unit is giving what it needs to be giving so far so a bit about this unit this is their 130 percent density 13 by 6 lace frontal unit this unit retails for $243 on their site. I'll leave all the information for this wig in my description bar down below if you are interested in purchasing this unit along with my discount code which is Roanna10 so you can save 10% off of your purchase. I love hair spells curly unit. I get so many compliments on it. The wig is nice. I did went ahead to dye this unit jet black and I also bleached a knot on this wig love you guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time see you in my next one and always remember to put god first in everything that you do